guys, it's Lisa back with another video for you for Lisa Wise Designs. And today we're probably going to finish up this project. This has been our magical wallet in this little storage box. And we have made the wallet and matted it. And we've made the box. We've made all the inserts. And now all that's left to do in this project is to make this fun little Mickey Mouse head shaker. So that's what we're going to be working on. I wanted to show you, this is all the paper I had left out of this project, even all the little bits. I kept every little scrap. There's not a whole lot left. The two biggest pieces I have is this, and we're gonna be using the back of that now, and then I have some striped paper left. So we really did a really good job using our resources. Okay, so. Um, oh, I have to mention the, the first part of this video, if you loved this project and you want to pick up a kit, um, when I'm filming this, there are a few magical themed kits left. So just go in the description box below this video. There's a link to my Etsy shop. You can pick up the kit to this one. You can pick up the kit to the scenic route. I'll show you that real quick. You can pick up this one that's scenic route themed. It's like a generic travel themed one. Or you can pick up the PDF or the um, otherwise known as, I'm talking too fast, <laughs> otherwise known as just the tutorial only. All right, I'm gonna take a deep breath. <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing today. I've got most of my uh, surface covered in this large piece of paper because we're gonna be doing some painting. So if you got the kit, you get this little package here. Put this up there. You got this little package here, and of course it's gonna be glaring. You got your, oh, that's not gonna help. Um, you got all your little shaker bits here. What you do not have, you're probably gonna to want to get some black paint. This is matte acrylic paint. I have a one inch foam um, brush. I got these little bitty stacking cups. I got these at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they were supposed to be shot glasses or whatever, but I use these when I'm painting. And then I just have a you know little throwaway plastic container that I saved out of the trash, you know, for this. So go ahead and open this up. Um, once again, there's not going to be a shaker for the other project. I just thought this would be really fun for this. So this is what you have in there. You have three that look very similar here. You can see some of them's got that burn marks. This one does not. Oh, it does on the other side, huh? You've got one that's, um, you've got one that doesn't have the holes in it. So it's um, got, well, my goodness, I can't get it out. Let me just turn on over to page 30. <laughs> you've got a solid mouse head. You've got three that have the holes in it. And then you've got one over here that's got like the acrylic piece. So just don't lose that. I'm gonna move this out of my way because I don't wanna get paint on it as I've been paint, or we're gonna paint. All right, I'm gonna put these three together. Wow, sometimes I creep up and kill myself. All right, so this solid piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this paper and I'm just gonna draw an outline of the Mickey head. All right. Okay, so you need one for the inside and then if you want to do, see in here, if you want to put one on the outside to just cover um, up anything there or you can use it leave it plain black whichever you want to do or you could use the striped paper I've got some striped paper left here I might do this for the back piece but anyway I would go ahead why you um, before we start gluing and painting to make it much easier to go ahead and have your outline drawn for and then I'm just going to draw one more because I know I'm not going to use any more of this paper. And in case I cut it out wrong or get upset or, you know, in case anything happens, I'll have an extra one. It's not going to hurt because I'm probably not going to use this paper anywhere else. All right. So I've got three just in case. So I'm going to put those to the side for now because we're going to do some painting and it's going to take a while for it to dry. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do, we are on the top of page 30, is we're gonna glue two of these together. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that part of it. So I'm just gonna use art glitter glue, or actually this is barely art glue. Just gonna glue right there in the center. 
Just gonna make sure I don't have any breaks and just glue one right on top of each other. I'm just gonna pick it up, make sure it's lined up really well. Okay, all sides there. You need to be have good lined up and then just push down together. So now you should have one that's two thicknesses, one that's one thickness, and then one that's a solid, okay? So now let's do some painting. I'm going to put my glue back on here. I'm going to move these two things out of the way. I'm gonna get my little cups ready because once I have it painted, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna do something to this effect, right? I'm gonna stack them like that so that um, it can dry on the bottom without drying on my paper, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready to know, you know, what kind of thicknesses they need to be apart, how far apart they need to be. All right. So this one's a solid, it can be a lot closer together. So, so just pay attention to where you're painting and if you need to paint the edges or all over or or what. So we'll get there eventually. I'm just gonna pour a little bit out of my pan, put that around. So this big Mickey head shape, you're gonna have pattern paper around here. So all you're gonna see is the the sides here and then this a little bit of the side here. So there's no reason to put paint all over it, if that makes sense. So you want there all over the edge to be painted, like so. Okay, then on the very outside edge, you don't want to sh that brown to show, so you wanna go all the way around the outside edge, right? If you want to wear gloves, be my guest. <laughs> this is craft paint, it's gonna come right off my hands. So I'm just looking around all the edges and make sure they don't have any breaks. Then I'm gonna hold it in the, continue to hold it in the center and I shouldn't get too much on me. Just like this, I need to come around the edges. And then come around the edges like that. So when I did this the first time, I did not have to do two coats. It, it really did well the first coat, but we could. So now I'm gonna to try to place this down here, not getting too much on me. There we go, and then we're gonna let that dry. So, for the one that is double thick, uh, open shape on the outside edges. Okay, so the one that's double thick, it's gonna be sandwiched between this and the one on top. So this one, you're gonna do the same thing. All you really need to do is the edges. You don't have to get it everywhere. Just make sure the outside edges all the way around are painted black. And you don't even have to do the inside ed I mean the, the inside of this top. So I'm just going all the way around the outside edges because none of this is going to show. It is going to be the center section I guess is the best way to say it because the one that's the single thickness is the one on top. The one that is solid is the one on the bottom. So these are all the ones in between. It's just gonna add extra layers. So I'm just going around the outside and making sure it's all black. Now, on the inside of the circle, you need to also put paint because you're gonna be able to see on the inside of the circle. So this is where it's probably gonna be impossible not to get it on your hands unless you wear gloves. So I'm gonna get on the inside of those circles, just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it right there. And I can come and touch it up later. So now this one, you're gonna see the whole top of this head and the sides. No reason to do the bottom, but this one you're basically going to uh, paint the whole thing. You're gonna paint the outside edges, the top, the inside edges, just not the bottom, I mean the back of it, not this piece. But everything else has to be painted because this is going to be the one that shows everything. 
I hope I am making sense. I was trying to figure this out as I went so I didn't have to paint everything. Not that it's a big problem to paint everything, but you know. You want to be efficient. So, yep, definitely gonna get this all over me. I wonder if this would be a fun kids project or if it would just be too stressful. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put this down here. Peter's going to sleep. Now I'm gonna do any touch-up that I see I need right away. There's an empty spot right here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So now I'm just going to walk away for about an hour and let it dry and then I will come back. Okay, let's take a look at our drying Mickey or mouse heads. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good, yeah. I did pretty good. <laughs> Just gonna make sure I didn't skip any places. They all look pretty good on that side. Here, yeah, okay. I'll keep my um, black paint out just in case, but I think I'm good. All right, so here we go. So now we are back on the bottom of page 30. So these are dry. Remember we cut out these little Mickey heads, or we didn't cut them out, we drew them. So I'm gonna do a rough cut on this one. So what you wanna remember is this is gonna sit on top of here, which this is gonna sit on top of that one. So you're gonna have a pretty good border around it. So you kind of wanna cut this smaller than the background. So this is a little bit bigger than the background right now. So I'm gonna cut off the uh, pencil marks. I said all that to say this. I'm gonna cut off the pencil mark and cut off a pretty good piece of that pencil mark because I've got a really big border. So this you don't have to stress too much about because a lot of it's going to be covered up. So this should not take very long at all since I'm not having to be precise. And like I said, I, I drew another one out just to be on the safe side. Did I just cut that one really close? Okay. See, that's kind of what I did. Just see, I got real far off this one. So I'm just going to place it down here and then see if I need to trim anything else up because you don't really want to see it from the back. So let me hold it down here. I don't see any from the back. This needs a little trim. This, see, I got way off. But then once you put this here, you're not going to see that. It's going to look perfect. Okay, so I'm going to trim this a little more. This is the type of trimming I like to do where I don't have to be so precise and, uh, and worried it's not gonna work out. All right, so once you have this the way you like it, we're gonna glue it down really well because this is a shaker. We don't want sequins or any little bits to go up under it. Uh-oh, did you see me drop that? <laughs> I just drank a Diet Coke. The caffeine's probably getting to me. There we go. So I'm gonna place this here. And quickly look to the back. I don't see anything showing. I think we're good. I have a little glue seepage. I'll clean that up. All right, so I'm good. So once the next layer goes on here. I think that will be fantastic. So we are at the top of 31. So it tells you to put this on there and then it says to put the double thick one, which is this one, this one that we, you know, glue one on top of each other. So go ahead and put this one down. And once again, make sure you have a unending line of glue right in the center. We don't want the sequins to escape, right, like so. 
once I kind of get it lined up, then I'm going to pick it up. Then I'm going to look all over the shape to make sure it's lined up really well with my fingers and then start pressing down. Pretty good. All right. Okay, so this next step, I want to keep my acetate really clean. So I'm just going to get a clean piece of paper off to the side as I get my little acetate sheet. So this is the ending one. I'll put that one here. Here's this. So with clean hands, you want to make sure you take the little film off of both sides of this acetate. It's really thick acetate. I'm just gonna use my pokey tool and get it started without trying to scratch it here. Okay, so there's one on both sides. I'm gonna flip it over, see if I can find it on the other side in the same area. There we go. There we go, so there's two, one on one side, one on the other, and now it's really super clear. So I just put it on this little black piece of paper to make sure it stays clean. Alrighty. So now on this single piece here that's got the total black, I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna glue this piece of acetate down. So work on this side. So I'm just gonna put a real thin bead and a bead of glue right in the center. Uh oh, I got off. Okay, make sure I clean my hand really well. I'm gonna lay this down and then take this piece of acetate and line it up pretty well before I let go. I don't want that glue to go everywhere. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna hold it up just a little bit. Make sure those ears are right. Okay, and kind of push down. And the edges, make sure we get a good stick. Doesn't it look good to have a tiny piece of glue that's coming out, but it will dry clear. All right, well, this one didn't want to glue down. Let me try that piece again. I think I waited too long on this tiny bead. There we go. So you may want to put something heavy like a phone or this is where I uh, rest my phone and give it time to dry. You could use tape on this, but you would want to use some really thin tape, like eighth of an inch, if you want to try that. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it to dry, and then I'll check it again to make sure it's good. So let's go ahead and work on, if you want to do something with the back piece, you could uh, paint the whole back if you wanted to, or you can put you know, this piece here that we uh, drew out. The only thing is, I've had a hard time drawing this so uh, really close to make it look decent. You can tell it's not quite right. See, there's like big gaps here. So if I had to do it over again, which I'm doing, I probably would just paint this black once I'm done. Just flip it over, paint it black. But you can do that. You can um, cut this piece out. So while that's drying, I'm gonna put these that came in your kit. Now, when I ordered these, I did not know that some of these little glass baubles were pretty tall. So you're really gonna to have to work with this to make sure it stays together you know, before you let go. So I didn't put everything in here, but I want some of this little black Mickey head right there. This. So now what I go through and do is I flip over all of the little uh, clear pieces. 
and make sure the flat part of the clear pieces is on, um, make sure the flat is on the back. Yeah, I know, I can't talk. <laughs> I want the bubble part to be on the top. So I'm just gonna go through and do that. Just take a look at each one. See if I wanna put any more in there. I'm gonna put all my pieces in. I'm just gonna make sure these little bubbles are turned correctly. Like I said, it's a tight, oh my goodness. It's a tight fit here. Sorry, I should have put this on uh, Do Not Disturb. Now, so then the last step that you want to do is we're gonna glue this on top here and I already have a little piece of schmutz on it. I'm gonna glue this on top here. But as you can tell, it's a tight fit with those bobbles in it. So what I did was I grabbed me some of these little small binder clips. So if you have a home office or something like that, you might want to use a few of these. And here's some smaller ones. So what I had to do was put a, you know, a tiny bead of glue all the way around again on top of the acetate, put it down, and then I use these binder clips to kind of hold it in place for a few minutes to make sure it would stay in place. See, I can't glue. I can't ink and talk, and obviously I can't glue and talk either. So once I have it on here, in order to keep it in the spot and hold it down, this is what I did. Okay. And then put one in here. And I didn't even have to touch it up with any type of paint or anything. It didn't take any paint off when I did it. If you're worried about that. And then I see one of these little tiny ones will fit right there. So it looks kind of funky right now, but this did really help because I glued it one time or two times before, before I did this because those bobbles, like I say, are pretty tall. But once it dries, you're gonna have a little shaker. And this is what the finished one looks like. And like I said, you can cut out that other one and put it on back or go ahead and paint it. And I'm gonna paint mine once all this gets dry. So we're basically finished with our project. But what I wanted to do with you is to go back through the project and do any last minute embellishing. I don't normally do this step with you. I do it on my own. Like I say, a lot of people like the simplistic look. Um, they want to do minimalistic, so I don't add quite so much. But let's take a look. Let me make sure this is the one, yeah, with the pictures. So let's take everything out here. I don't think I want to add anything else to my box, more than likely. I like it the way it is. And this will also be your final review or last look at the project. But then what I like to do is I like to see what kind of ephemera pieces I have left over. If I want to use any of these. So I might lay them out, especially if I find some that I really love. Like this Mickey hand. Happy place. The meet and greet. I don't think I'm going to use this one. These are pretty big. I may not find spots for them. But I kind of like to lay them out so I can see what I'm dealing with. Alright, and I know I'm getting out of shot. I'm sorry. And I'll move all this over. And then I like to get my sticker sheet out and have this close at hand so I can go through it. So I'm going to put this over to my left. And then I start going through and seeing what other embellishments I want to add. So we'll start with the wallet. I love the front. I like it being plain on the bottom. And then when you open, it's got this little wow factor. I like that. Now we could put something up here, like my happy place. But there's so much going on here. This, um, you might want to leave it or you might want to add something there to kind of um, help balance that out. Let's see, there. Yeah, I kind of like this one and just cover up one of those castles and it kind of brings that dark to it. I'm gonna get my Distress Ink out over here to the side, even though this is dark. 
I'm still going to know it's there. Put this on here. So let me know if this is something that you do too. Once you kind of finish up a project, you know you've you know, got the first round of embellishing done and now you want to use up the rest or you want to take a second look or do you do it all at once or do you just come back and do all your embellishing at the end? This I like the way it is. See, this would be cute if I could find a small something to go here. Let me see. Hello, Dream, Mouse and Me, because it's got like little Tinkerbell here. Um, I may just leave it, this one alone. But this is a good spot for one, especially something like Long and Thin. Uh, mouse and Me, what about any of these? A Perfect Day, that would be good. You could put it in the center or here. Or let's see if we have any more of these Long Thin Sentiments. I think I like this one the best. Oh. Probably would make sense if I know I'm going to use these probably to go ahead and ink them all, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to do it. This is one of my favorite projects that I have done recently. And I know it's got to be part of the, the paper. It's got to be a big part of it. So there's this. So there was the Disney ducks that I have gotten here. Uh, what a character. I guess that really doesn't make sense. Let's see. Hello, Dream, Mouse and Me, You and Me. Hello. Let's do hello. That's cute. This little hello sticker here. Put that on the water. That's really cute. And then me and Megan and there's the ducks behind us. So cute. Open this up, and we'll leave that alone. This was the Everest. So see, we can put something here, like happy times. This is the good stuff. See, and these people in the back, we don't know. I could actually do that here and cover these people I don't know. Or put photo op. I think I like this one. I hate that I can't use these. It says collecting autographs because they didn't do autographs this time. Yeah, I like this covering up these peoples. Like that. It does need something here though. I wonder what I could use. That's going to be too big, but I love that. Go see Ride. Happy Place. And I wonder if that was this M right here. It's kind of layered. So if I put two, I like things to be an odd number, so I would need a third one. So maybe I could find something to layer on this one, kind of like one of these small stickers. Like here, add a little ink to this. Kind of put that in the center, like so. I like that, okay. This one out, put this one in. This one we already had like magic here. And on the back, it's just so cute of her. That uh, photo pass photographer did such a good job. What a character. Happy place, meet and greet. Let's see. You believe in magic? All these are kind of big. Collecting autographs, mouse and me. This is the good stuff. Put this right on the edge. That's too, too big. Okay, well, I'll just leave this one alone. I felt like I said that like Phoebe from Friends. <laughs> it's too much. Too big. Okay, this is good here. I like this one here. Hollywood Tower of Terror. Adding things, I already have those. This is a good one. Go see ride photo op. No, since I already have that, I won't put that here. But then this, especially ones, yeah, like that. That doesn't have any more writing on it, since I already have a sentiment. Then I like this one to add this one here. A little mouse hand and that kind of 
bridges the gap between the two things. I like that. Okay, that's here. So these would be some good spots where these connect here. This is food. I don't know that I've got any good pictures of food. This is the good stuff. Oh, see, this is another good opportunity. See this ugly little carriage looking thing here? We could put that there. Somebody else's little ride for their children. So we'll just cover that up. And, and that way I'll have a little sentiment. This is the good stuff. And that's her favorite character in Epcot. So cute. I really would like to use this Go See Ride. And some more stickers. But there, there's one here. They're all so big. But here's a good spot with all these people in here, like photo op, what a character. You could even do this, my happy place, even though I don't think I will. Meet and greet. I don't know that we're meeting and greeting anybody. I always believe something wonderful is about to happen. I wonder if I can use this and trim it. No, it's too big. Maybe I should just leave it alone. That's a good one. And this. I oh, love the Epcot picture. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, so cute. Well, I'm not adding a whole lot, am I? I thought I was going to add a whole lot more. So I think I'm good on that. And see on the back, I have this um, big sentiment, this ephemera piece. But I'm happy with it, and that's all that matters. Okay, and then we had the file folder, and we had this glassing bag. So in the glassing bag, we've got a couple of inserts. So I didn't make one on camera, but I showed you the ephemera pieces. Oh, this will be cute, but I don't really want to cut it in half. What a character. Oh, okay, I kind of like that. Even though I'm sure it's supposed to mean, you know, a Disney character that you're meeting, but you know, that's how it goes. I think I only have one picture actually, you know, meeting one this time. Okay, this is Grace and her balloons. And I actually thought about using these balloons, just trimming them off and like covering up these people here. I don't know if that's going to be too much, if that's going to look terrible. Or if I should just leave it alone because it's really going to take away from this. But I really don't like those people either. Okay, I'm going to try it. I can always take it off if I hate it. I can use some undo on it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Cute. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that there. Link the edge. Right, so adorable. See, these would be good places to put it with these I'm across here, but you know, there's just not, not a lot. Of there's this one that says dream. I think I'll put that here without any ink on it. That's cute. We need some more small ones, don't we? And then I think I'll use this one again, even though I used it in the big cut apart that says tired feet, full heart. So true. She's standing in front of that great ride at Animal Kingdom. The Yeti, the Expedition Everest. Love that. Okay. This one's good, I think. I could put something big here. If you really like something like this. I always believe something magic is about to happen. This is probably a good spot for that here because on this clear pocket... 
Let's see how we like that. And then when you take it out, you can still see really well all that pattern paper. Okay, that's cute. I like that. And then this one here. So let's put these back. So here she's Winnie the Pooh. I already put big smiles here, but it might be fun to have something up there. And I've got this little bitty bow. So let's try the bow tie on top of this black and white. Let's see how that looks. So there's so many options that you can use. So if you make this kit, please, uh, like I said, show share pictures on our Facebook group. That's can that is um linked below because I would love to see how others interpret this and this is good we could put something here if we wanted to <laughs> you and me adventure adventure meet and greet oh wouldn't that have been a good one there too go see ride since I had the Tower of Terror that would have been a good option I'm definitely not gonna tear it off though but that would have been fun or to like hang this here too, that would be fun. I love this. Let's see if there's something small to go on top here. Mouse and May would be cute because this is the Runaway Railway. So I think I'm going to layer this. I'll put this on the top. Put mouse in me. Put it in the center and then I'll just trim it off. That's cute. And then there's me and Megan on the back. That's really cute. I like that. Probably put something here. Photo off is too big. I have this bow here would be cute and I, have, I really like this sticker I wonder if I can just kind of put it on the edge and then trim it do it like this where it hangs off and then trim it and then maybe put something on top of it so it says you and me or adventures this is fun I'll make sure I'm not trimming this one. <laughs> so let's trim this up first to make sure see what kind of room I've got. It'd be bad to trim off someone that says you and me. Okay, note to sell, clean your scissors. And then what I'll do is to go ahead and trim this first. This side and then put it here. And see if I like it before I take it off or burnish it really well that's cute that's cute I'm gonna burnish it I love how it's turning out burnish that on real well get the edge cute all right so there's that one Oh, I love this Mickey. See, this is the only one that I have, like the meet and greet. But I've already put this here. I could cover up like my little chicken arm like that, but I don't think I will. And this, this I think is cute. I could add a little something to this if we wanted to, but I think I'm good. I think I have enjoyed and have used what I wanted to use. So if you love this video series, or even if you just liked it, <laughs> um, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. Uh, the details again, how to pick up the kit 
is in the description box below the video. And I will be back with the next theme. It's made the same way, the box and the wallet. It's just a travel theme. So I will be back with this one with you tomorrow. So uh, see you guys then. Bye.